projecting the battleground state of Ohio for President Barack Obama, which means you are looking at the President of the United States, Barack Obama, has been re-elected the 44th President. Listen to the crowd out in Times Square. The man who came in promising the audacity of hope four years ago will now have a chance to promise possibility, a new future for the next four years. Coming up, George. Another chapter in an improbable journey. It is well to remember right now that just 10 years ago, Barack Obama was a state senator in Illinois. Now he is a re-elected president of the United States. A very different campaign from four years ago. Four years ago, he rode a wave into office, a wave of hope and change. This time, running for re-election, he had to try to beat a wave back, a wave of economic disconsent. He did it with a campaign that was brutal on Mitt Romney, but also brilliant in its organizing, turning out the vote. Yeah. Matthew got a huge victory. And the economy had suffered where he had, had a right direction number that we really thought he could be get beaten. This is going to, both sides are going to have to reflect on this because there's many misconceptions and problems that happen, but I think the Republicans are really faced with the polls were right. All the polls were right. The Republicans argued against and said, no, 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 we're going to do it differently. We're going to compose a different electorate. It didn't happen, and they're going to have to face a future where there's no leader of the party and an electorate that is much to their disadvantage. He always said he was a fourth quarter closer, that he was LeBron at the very end. But I want to bring in Nicole right now for your thoughts.